traffic on the rail trail. This is just what I'm asking. Are we allowed what? Two-way traffic. So yeah. say say if I lived at the end, for me that might be the beginning of the rail trail. Right yeah, there's no the end or beginning. It's 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 yeah. ten foot wide. Right. Thank you, Hartley. Um, good morning, everyone. Today is the uh, May 28th, uh, 2021 meeting of the Master Plan Committee. Uh, we'll do a roll call of the members present today. I'll just do it from top to bottom, who's on my screen. Andrea Recording Wood. Recording in progress. Here. Bill Wrightout. Here. Cynthia Donovan Schuster. Did we lose Cynthia? Let's see. Or she's muted. No, it doesn't say she's muted. No, I wonder. So I, I had another pop up come up that said that I had to um, accept being recorded in order to continue. So I'm wondering if, did you get that bill? I got that too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that could be behind. Andrea, can you still hear us? Yes. Fine. I'm good. Okay. Oh, there's oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Cynthia Donovan Schuster is present. Um, thank you. And then um, I'm here, Kim Craven. And we will start the meeting with taking a look at the minutes from our May 21st meeting. They were submitted by Karen Clement. Um, has everyone, or can everyone just take a minute, review those minutes? Does anyone have any questions or changes to these minutes? I move that we accept the minutes for May 21st, 2021 as written. A second. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 And is anyone opposed? Okay. Wonderful, thanks everyone. Um, so the next um, item that we have is to um, go over the sections and um, I, I did write economic development down there, but it should be economic development and climate, but we can kind of talk about that of assignment work to be completed. Um, so Bill, thank you very much for sending over your draft. Um, and, and I did start to make the changes, but then I questioned protocol that if I made the changes and then gave it to everybody else, then that's when we run the risk, I think, of a serial meeting. Um, so I think we should continue as we did with the other chapters. If everyone can now take a look at that particular chapter um, that Bill drafted and you, know, you have the big reference document um, from our listening sessions, from MRPC, if there's something in there um, that you think should be included, if there's anything from the townwide survey that you think should be included, anything that we've talked about that maybe was captured, not captured, or you know, if there was something usable from FXM, um, please feel free to do that. Um, neither tech track changes or you know handwritten notes and then we we can put that on the agenda for the next meeting and the same would be for the climate change um but because i didn't list that one we'll i guess move on to maps um does anyone have any questions about the economic development chapter at this juncture no okay andrew any questions at this juncture no okay um so mrpc did send the maps over um 
and they did some additional work. I took them out of the zip file in case, you know, folks are not able to get that. Um, and so um, I'm trying to think the best way to review them. Um, Want to share your screen or? Oh, I guess yeah. I don't know. Andrea can't see it, but. Right, Andrea and Cynthia won't be able to see it. So right. I can right. see it. Well, couldn't I see it just because like you can't see me doesn't mean I can't see you, right? Or no? Oh, okay. Right. Right. <laughs> Andrea, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. So, so that you works. Let can't me see um... my living room. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I'm always on blur. Actually, that's what you think, Andrea. <laughs> oh um... no. <laughs> um. So actually, my my background is some wonderful pictures from that my mom had did for me. So I'm just going to get both of the maps or all of the maps up. And then I'll share my screen. Okay, Hartley, is there a way that you can give me the controls to share my screen? Oh, you did, okay. Thanks, I was, I was busy getting all the right um, files up. Okay, so this is um, the map for the harbor for the historic district. They were able to outline it um, to show resource within a local historic district, resource within a preservation restriction, the rail trail, and uh, local historic district is you know, sort of our um, legend there. And I think the the only thing that, well, let, what, why don't you all give me your feedback? I'll just kind of scroll through to so you can see what it looks like. They did the map call out of where they are in the town, so a nice locus map, um, and then pulled together the entire district. Any thoughts on that? I think it's really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, it, it definitely shows what we um, had asked them for, um, looking at the ones with preservation and historic well, relevance that, to our is town. That the, is that deluxe? The, the big here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah, for orientation, that's here, and then coming out here um, is Cherry Hill, too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The Harbor Church. Reed House. And the Rail Trail. Is the Reed House the green star? Why would that be green? What was green? That one has its a preservation restriction on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the, actually that is, Bill, help me out here. That one is, oh, the Cooperage yeah, is here. So that is the reed. Yep. Yep. And, and Bill then, Martins. Ah, 
Bill Martin's house has a purple star. It does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, now, there's purple stars and there's blue stars, but I don't see blue stars in the legend. Wait, where do you see a blue star? No. I don't see any blue stars. Is it not that a blue star? That's no, purple, purple too. No, purple, yeah. But it's different from this purple. Yeah, they're I think it's colors. just the, the edges around it. Let's see Bill's. Let's have it. If his is dark, maybe they're not as historical as the light. Oh, mm -hmm. the colors changed. I, I, when I look at it without your screen, when I look at it directly, I they're can see the, the colors are all the same. Yeah. yeah. It's just some artifact of your screen. Oh. Yes. Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that is that particular map. Let me go back into the maps. This is the West Townsend. Now it shows the yellow stars is inventory property and the purple is um, resources within a local historic district, but I am, help me out. Is, is there a yellow star no, on here? Oh, right here. Yellow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, that looks strangely like it's the river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just property, right? Anyway. Yeah, this is going along the river. Do you understand how ignorant I am? What does inventory property mean? Well, join the, I, I'll join the ignorant club. I don't know either. <laughs> so when I first saw it, I thought that it might have been the ones that were, you know, in the in the zone that you can't do things without their permission. But wasn't, wasn't there a time when it was land that could potentially be used, but or no? Um, I no, I think. Okay. I can't get that because of where the screen sharing is. I can't get this to blow up a little bit. Let's see if I can. There we go. So whatever it is, it's a historic. Oh, property. it's the trestle. It's the, it, that's what I'm saying. It's, it is the trestle. It's the trestle. Yeah. What's a, what's a trestle? Um, the railroad bridge. The, oh. Yeah. So. We'll just, <clears throat> I'm going to write that down as a note, but the yellow star on West Townsend is the trestle. Okay. What I was going to mention about the, the other map, I really love the locus. I love the key, you know, the legend, the data source. I usually do in a footnote for each map just because it gets, it's taking up more space. And I don't know how you all feel about that. Leave them on or take them off. I can't even read it. So, of the. Yeah, you've, you've got to. There we go. Let me zoom in. You can't read it. Yeah, I get as far as I know that that's the MRPC logo and I can read data sources. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it might just be their standard policy to. Yeah, to and who they, is prepared by Lemonster Mass phone, email. You know, disclaimer is probably something they don't want in a footnote. Okay. So I think if that were the case, maybe we could ask them to just put prepared by MRPC down here and that each of the maps gets the disclaimer and that we, you know, footnote that part of it. I just think it's just a great map and it might distract a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Open to really bother me okay. Because it's not, it's not really covering up anything important. No, it's just, 
big and I couldn't read it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a question. The map is gone now though, but um, where all the historic stars are, that's the third historic district in Townsend. Why isn't it in a box like the logo says it should be? You know, there it says local historic district. It has a little box, but there's no little box around those stars. No, oh, that's um, not a box. That's just a way of showing the purple line. It's yeah. not a very good way. Right, but the historic district is a historic district, and it's not denoted as one on here. So what they did was instead of it being that box with the weight inside, they're doing it with a purple line. So I do grant you, Andrea, that this should just be a purple line, not with the weight inside. Okay. Right. But I think what they were doing is showing that I think their interpretation is anything that is like this and whatever's mm -hmm. inside, I think is what they were. Oh, that's it's fine. I don't care how they denote it personally. But if if you want a legend to be clear to people who are you looking at it for the first time, you should have your uh, legend represent what the map shows is what I'm saying, that's all. I mean, I do agree with Adrian that her, just a purple line would be, would be simpler. I, I think so yeah. too, because- They're you're trying to draw a box that. and it's, it's like, I, yeah, it was about a minute before I realized it was a box, so. Yeah, okay. So these are all things that we'll have to note to them. Okay, uh, so that's those two. Let me move back to some maps here. I did not grab my maps part two, so let's do these ones and then I'll go back to it. Um, okay, this just is our locus of where we are. Um, and here's that, how they did that again with sort of putting it as a box instead of a line. Anything on that? This one's pretty straightforward. Oh, it was a nice map. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So I'm just gonna go back here. Housing density. This is my favorite map. I sent it right off to our grant writer because it shows how nicely the rail trail connects the two population centers <laughs> but that's not master plan uh, well it is actually i mean i agree but, and it, you know it is because because if these maps help your group right get attention of folks um you know and i'd love to, you know i'd love to see it just keep coming that's exactly if we if we tried to push west you know and go it go a little further west right we've got a great map to say why it would help the town exactly i think it's wonderful so um yeah no no questions on this one's very very clear to see yeah okay um the the only question that I had when I looked at this one um, is a, <clears throat> a map layer showing the residential density layered with the conservation and restricted land. 
because a map like this, someone might say, oh, <clears throat> look at all this land we could build on. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do something there, but because we intuitively know what's buildable and what's not because of looking at this forever. What do you think? <clears throat> what do you think about that additional map? I mean, if you're going to make that point in the housing section, then that map would be helpful. Yeah, I think it has some relevance with some of the zoning stuff um, right. to tie it together. Okay. I know we ended up doing a doing something like that. Karen might be re, <clears throat> Chapman might <clears throat> excuse me might remember when we were doing solar because. We kind of had that same like, oh, we might be able to put it there. There's big open space, but then it was like, no, that's re conservation restricted land, or that's forest land, or that's not ours, whatever it might be. So, I made a note on that map. This just shows, you know, kind of compared to our other towns, the housing value. No. Oh. Um, I think it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's wrong? Well, I, I don't, I, you'd be hard pressed to get a house for 291 right now. Right. Yes. So this, this was the median value. So yeah. um, you're right. And, <clears throat> and this and is. They label this, it 2019, which is obviously. Right. Yes. But then again, if they change it for now, today's prices, it could be wrong six months from now. So yeah, true. Well, it's it's interesting. I'd love to see, you know, 2009, it was obviously a while ago, but that was when things were depressed. And then now, or 2019, what this map represents, what it represents now and what it's going to look like two years from now. Yeah. So, but other than that, you know, I think there's some, this, it's a, it's a great map to just quickly show where we kind of fall within our, our neighbors. Um, and I know, you know, I, I talk a lot about, we have the opportunity to increase property values and have higher end houses because we're being this is the line now yeah, right yeah. and even even pepperell i mean especially right now but i think that they're probably the same color as groton um you know compared to where they were in 2019 just because there's no more housing stock left mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah yeah you know and those condos in pepperell are selling for four hundred thousand dollars oh my god there's a house across the street from us here and it's a bungalow on one acre. I want to say fourteen hundred square feet. They were had it on had it on the market or still do for two ninety nine, and someone just put an offer on it for three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, fourteen one bathroom, fourteen hundred, and then <clears throat> another house down depot. I don't know what it was going for. I think one point four. It just it sold for one point seven. Oh. Ridiculous. I need to um not be not not be on all these volunteer things and take time to finish a few things on um that's the same. Oh, this is the median income one. Um and take time to finish a few loose ends here and sell this and go back to Main Street. Oh, you should come to Mason. <laughs> Well, if you hadn't bought my house. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thrilled you're there. All you right. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the same map with the median income. Um, <clears throat> oops, sorry, I had to shut that off. All right. <clears throat> so this, um, you know, if you look at the housing, it's pretty much, although Ashby's median income is higher, 
um, than ours, but their median um, house price was lower. So I think, you know, that was an interesting comparison to note. So that's that particular one. Anyone have any other questions or thoughts on that? No. Okay. What's interesting is uh, the ratio of housing prices to median incomes. So talk that out a little bit. Oh, about that. I mean, really, what you care about in housing prices is how affordable is the housing based on what mm -hmm. you're earning in that town. town. Right. And so almost more interesting is the ratio between the housing prices and the median income. You know, is it a two to one town? Is it a 10 to one town? Yeah. Yeah. And could you figure that out quickly, which was which were which? Well, I mean, I'm just saying it, it, potentially another map there. Yeah. Because that would be a map of affordability or lack of yeah. affordability. Okay. I've written down that. I know you're the note taker today, but I'm trying to at least right. take back of the notes ones um, the, for the maps. So let me, there was one that I didn't uh, bring up. doesn't want to come up at all. Bill, are you able to bring up, oh, it's just coming up now. Okay. I'm gonna come back and share. This is the sidewalk map. <clears throat> so thoughts on this map? I mean, it, it shows where the sidewalks are, which is yeah. not too often. Not sure, sure why it's got the sidewalks in Groton, but <laughs> good good comparison though. So, so I was I was seeing if you would pick up on this, Bill. This is this is my nitpicky from doing <clears throat> so many reports with maps. Once I teach somebody what the legend is, I try to keep it consistent. Right. And so when I brought up this map originally, I was like, what? What's oh, oh oh the rail trails in green now red sidewalks are red like that quick thought right right I've been orienting everything to the rail trail and then this map is different I I agree okay. especially you're glancing through them quickly so yeah. <laughs> to the next one. This is the community facilities one <clears throat> that we had asked for a little bit more um, detail on, you know, what they were rather than just being labeled community facilities. It's kind of busy. This little area is pretty busy, but I liked how they did the call out using yep. the satellite view. <clears throat> yeah. Is there a text that goes along with it that gives us what these numbers mean? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll send that along. That's right. As long as we have it. Yep. Yeah. 
and um, they had attached um, another Excel sheet for one of the other ones. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I like this. I think it shows a, a nice cluster. Like you said, this is really busy, but at least we can see it all here, and then we can list right in it, um, right under the map, uh, what is in it. So obviously the clusters in the in the downtown, you know, around the common, the center, not surprising there, not surprising where the fatals were either. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these typical, these are typically lower speed incidences right at the lights. Um, these would be typically higher speeds. So any questions, concerns on that particular map? I think it's well done. Yeah. It really, really shows the importance of even getting that rail trail down to here. The more people we can get off of Main Street, the better. And um, the signalization, I'm sure, has helped in here and then the other uh, grant that's happening. So hopefully we'll be able to protect our citizens even more. Um, this is the historic and cultural resources. This shows the big overlay of each of the maps. So we went over this one and this one. They have the three three different maps. But other than our previous comments, I'm not seeing anything that we need to address in this particular one. Did anyone have any other questions? No. Okay. the center. So there again, I think we just addressed that one, one issue with the, the circle instead of the line. Um, Everything's captured. Of course, this is very sad now. Because it doesn't look like that anymore. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So those are the maps. I think um, I think they did a really wonderful job of responding to some of our requests. So other than those very few minor tweaks, does anyone have any other thoughts on the maps? I think they're great. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, I um, I never realized that the center map. I always thought it went a little bit further. Clearly, I was wrong. Um, yeah, I okay. always thought McNabs would be in it, but oh, I see. Yeah, so McNabs isn't in it. Dr. Churchill's house isn't in it. Spalding isn't in it. Huh. Anyway, that's a historic section says we should look to, you know, have a historic Excellent. commission and, yes. and look for things outside that could still be helpful. So, yeah. So that, that supports that. Yeah, that's so this map will help. Yep. So note, note to next master plan committee review, do your maps <laughs> first because it tells the story um, and re really helps drive some of the narrative. Okay. So that is um, the maps that we have. And I think they're, I do think they're really wonderful. I think they did a great job. So we can send that feedback back to them. Um, now we can talk about, unless it, anyone have anything else on maps? No. 
Okay. Um, and then um, climate, I have mentioned very briefly, and everyone should have gotten a copy. Karen went ahead and um, it wrote some things down to get us started on that. I'll go ahead and do what I've been doing uh, with the other chapters now that you, know, you all have them. I'll do my additions just like you all are, and then we can combine them into one document. I did hear from Todd. Um, he is going through the document and we'll get with Karen or myself to make any additions there. Um, so we're, we're plugging away. Um, the other chapters that we had um, okayed to go over to the uh, planning board did go over. Unfortunately, I had a meeting that ran late and I was not able to, to join in time. I was trying to join and we found out that I had, I, it was like a minute too late, literally from the time that I um, got on, I screenshot it. I was like, oh, what did I do wrong this time? Because I couldn't get into the meeting. But then when they looked at the time that they ended the meeting, it was like literally a minute before. So um, they did get the, they had, given them a written update. Um, and I had asked for the chapters back um, for uh, the 8th of June, but they don't meet again now until the 15th of June. So my thought is that, you know, we'll get some feedback for them. And then if we could have more um, things for them to review by then, I think that would be great. Um, so Kim, I did see that uh, Beth sent out a shared folder that supposedly had revised versions of those chapters, and I have not looked at them. Yes, and I did remind her that I can't get into that. So you can't get into it. it? No. All right. Well, do you want me to just put it on a Dropbox and and send it to you? you just yeah, have or just. Just an email, I think it'll be fine because it's it won't be a big file. Okay. Yeah, if if you can do that, that would be great. I know she's she's usually very good about you know sending it along to me. Um, Is anyone else not able? Did any everybody got that email from Beth, right? I think so. Honestly, I haven't opened anything. <laughs> Could be about like my wife who gets four hundred emails a day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, it's hard. Any things like SharePoint, things like uh, Teams, all of that stuff I can't get into. Um, <clears throat> I had a second computer that I was able to do things like that from. You know, it was just kind of a mm -hmm. like a a fleet computer, if you would, but it's broken. So I appreciate you doing that. Um, so we've got- well, I'm, I'm um, just gonna, Kim, I'm just gonna stick them in a Dropbox and anytime I see more there, I'll stick them in a Dropbox and that way- Okay. You can, you know, when there's new ones, you don't have to go get another email from me. Yeah. Yeah, so for whatever reason, all of the security levels that I have on my Dropbox, let me get to that, so. I appreciate that. I know it's a pain. No problem. Um, so for next meetings, um, I am not available next Friday. So I don't know um, when you guys might want to switch that meeting to. Um, I would be available the 8th. Or do you think we can just go to the 11th? What is the 11th? Friday. Oh. Um, I can't do 8.30 on Friday. Okay. I, I can do the, I can do the Tuesday. You can do the 8th? Okay. Yep. What about you, Andrea? Uh, Any time is fine with me. Cindy, I know that um, 8.30 in the morning is a little bit harder for you. 
Yeah, it's it's next to impossible because that's when I have to have my daughter at the street. We right. we have to be at the street at eight thirty. The bus comes anywhere between, you know, eight twenty five and eight. Does nine thirty work for you, Cindy? Because it'd actually be better for me. Because yep, I have some stuff going on early in the morning that I would have to juggle. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can text Karen. Okay, um, we'll just put it down for that time on uh, June 8th. Uh, actually, now, Hartley, can you check to see if you're um, available at that time? Uh, June 8th at 9.30. Yes. Yeah, so... Okay, wonderful. All right. My turn. It is. I move that we close the meeting at 1016 a.m. Second. Thanks, Cind. All right, thanks everyone. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate everyone that is out doing the flags today to remember those that we uh, have lost, uh, whether whether you know them or not, they did much to um, keep our land free for us. So hope that you take a moment over Memorial Day and remember them. And then hopefully next year we'll all be able to gather and um, do the memorials with the VFW and the parade and what we do at the Common. Um, but please take some time to think about those um, who lost their lives protecting ours over the weekend. Well, right. Okay. All right, everyone. All right, thanks Talk a lot, everybody. On the okay, take care. Bye.